Hey guys, what's up? By Sector Track here from Clash of Clans Manual, here with my next war recap video, and taking a look at the last war 49er War Clan had against MOC Korea, and had some pretty weird stuff going on in the clan. Uh, we faced a troll clan, the fourth one down, uh, Meskayun clan, and uh, they had all troll bases, didn't try. Then we faced a clan that had all level 40 heroes, all max town hall 10s, and got destroyed. Uh, had a very, you know, like a competitive war, the second to last one, uh, but they pulled away at the end. That was a very uh, high level war clan we faced, uh, so fun war there. And then uh, this one, the clan was, you know, they were okay, but they didn't quite have uh, what it took to do much to our bases. Um, looking at what they did do, they got a lot of one stars, a lot of two stars, um, and a few no stars, no town hall tens, uh, and then they got. A lot of two stars and a handful of three stars and our nines. Uh, we had a pretty solid war. Everything was cleaned up as far as two stars go in the tens. We're pretty good at that. And then a few three stars in the tens as well. Uh, Brian for that one. And then even King White stepped up. So we're going to take a look at a lot of attacks today. And um, some nice Town Hall 10 three stars. Cause I, want, I want to show all of those. Uh, so we're not going to waste any time. We'll get right into it. Um, starting with Sweet Chili. Um, our number 20 taking on their number 12. So going up to hit this base, doesn't have the highest level heroes, the queen's pretty high, a uh, king's kind of medium level, and then bring in a six witch composition, and a lot of witches work well against the single targeted infernos, so you know, if you're a town hall 10 and you see two single targeted infernos, you can three star a base if the witches uh, don't get blown up by giant bombs. Uh, so nice job by sending in the golems. Uh, letting the witches sit back a little bit. Don't want to get them taken out by the wizard tower, any giant bombs that are there. Uh, letting the skeletons run out in front. Jump spells connect everything all the way into the core. CC troops come out. He'll have a freeze there and then a poison for them. Uh, the poison actually works well because he drops it and it gets the skeleton traps. Two skelly traps pop and then both taken out by the poison has a rage. Uh, all his troops in the core making their way through. Taking out uh, the first inferno. Still rage. Those skeletons are good under rage because they'll run out in front and tank. So I uh, want to bring a few rage if you're using uh, the a lot of witches, like a high go wee wee, a lot of witches in the go wee wees. Uh, so anyway, queen in the moat. Uh, she's gonna take out some defenses and then it has a golem and a wizard uh, moving the other way through. That way, no uh, defenses are flanking his main troops in the middle. So it worked out pretty nicely there. Uh, all the witches uh, pretty much still up in the middle there. Uh, they're going to start going down to some splash damage. The wizard tower uh, doing some work on that. But the queen makes her way around. Uh, she's going to finish off these last few defenses. Drops a few more wizards. And then the golem uh, will take out the mortar at the top. And that will be it for this base. Uh, we'll fast forward. As the mortar goes down, it's just clean up. So awesome job. Uh, when you see those single targeted infernos, uh, witches are a great troop to use to get the three star if you do it right. So nice job there to Sweet Chili. Um, also another two si single target infernos here. So I guess it just goes to show, you know, have at least one inferno, if not both, on multi-target if you're gonna, if you're a Town Hall 10 for your war base, because another base with uh, two of those uh, singles getting three starred. Brian uh, coming down a little ways to take out this base, uh, but still has those level three infernos. Town Hall 9 defenses and medium level heroes. Uh, has, bring in some Valks. Those are another option. Uh, and they work here. The single target Inferno is okay against them, but uh, brings, you know, like 10 of them. So it's going to take a while for those Infernos to get through all of them. Uh, meanwhile, the heroes are doing a lot of damage at level 40. So everything pretty much in the core here. Uh, taking out that first Inferno. Valks making their way through. And they're just going to destroy this core of the base. Next Inferno goes down real quick. Everything's still pretty much under rage. Taking out uh, Teslas, the Expo, the Cannon, and then drops a few Wizards while the Archer Tower at the top there is locked down to that Golem. Uh, so take out those defenses so they can't flank his kill squad. Um, Queen making her way through. Wizards shooting down the rest of the buildings inside the core. Running a little bit low on uh, troops here. Has both his hero's abilities. That last jump was really nice because what it did is it allowed his king to basically take out all the defenses on the backside here. Um, so king doesn't have to beat in the wall, can tap the ability, and the king will just 
destroy this entire back end. Uh, takes out four or five defenses. Um, so has that one mortar just sitting up there, but besides that, uh, Queen still has the ability and a bunch of tanks out in front of her. Wizard's already starting cleanup. Uh, we'll fast forward a little bit. Uh, his last few buildings go down at the top there, and then his troops just make their way around to finish off that mortar. Uh, so nice job to Brian, uh, getting the three star here. Uh, always very helpful in these wars to get three stars in the tens. All right, moving along, we have just a few down. King White, uh, another Town Hall 10 three star, and this one has a multi inferno. Uh, obviously, some Town Hall 8 level archer towers. Um, infernos are max, heroes are 20 ish, uh, but you know, it's still not easy to three star these bases with the infernos and an okay layout. But dropping some golems also has six witches. Um, that's typically one of the ways you can three star. The other way is go Laloon if you can do a hybrid attack and take out some air defenses, uh, the Queen, Inferno Towers before you start your Lavaloon part of the attack. But anyway, this works fine for a three star here. Um, going to overwhelm that first multi Inferno. You want to attack towards the multi first if there's one of each because you want the multi to go down as quickly as possible so your witches will still be alive. Uh, so taps the king's ability, he'll make his way in. Um, pretty good free spells, maybe a little bit earlier, a little bit early on that first, or the second one, because freeze the multi before most of his uh, witches and wizards and stuff were in range. But uh, the king's pretty much the only thing inside the middle of the base right now. Everything else is going in the moat around the base. Um, has some a golemite and some witches at the bottom there. Then the queen, some more golems, uh, more witches, wizards. All that stuff. The king actually did a lot of damage in the core. Just a Tesla and an Inferno. There are two Teslas in the Inferno left, and one of those Teslas is almost dead. Uh, so, pretty much destroyed the core there, except for the back side of it. And then has uh, a bunch of witches still left up. Uh, they're doing some uh, awesome damage with their skeletons running out in front. Uh, wizards shooting stuff down. Gets a little bit close towards the end here, but the queen locks onto that Inferno. Uh, and she'll prevent it from taking down any more of the golems. Uh, so it still has a lot of tanks out in front, all those golemites, wizards shooting back behind, and then the queen uh, will, and those wizards will finish off the last few defenses. We'll go times two. Uh, nice job to King White getting the three star here. Uh, good war for our tens, uh, cleaning up all the other town hall tens and get, getting the three star on a few of them. So last builder's heck goes down and has a full health queen at the end, which is cool. So nice job, King White. I'm uh, going to look at a, two Town Hall 9 attacks, um, one of which I actually want to start with my attack, just because um, it, I haven't shown my attack in a while. It three-starred. It finally ended my drought. I had, I want to say, five two-stars. Um, last All my last five attacks were two-stars. So first time in like six attacks that I've gotten a three-star. Uh, felt awesome. I'm using a Go La Loon. Dropping my golems, a healer, just to help that golem keep its health a little bit better. It'll last a little bit longer. Um, wizards, creating my funnel. Gonna drop a jump in just a moment to let my kill squad into the queen. Uh, you can see that one golem is going to kind of go up to the top. I'm not sure how that wall busted up there, but somehow there was an opening created, so the golem goes up to the top. But have the other one going in. Healer still helps it out. The healer goes down right here, but she did a good job at healing up that golem. Then the other one reroutes back in the tank for my queen. Uh, my king is going to hop on the enemy heroes, take those guys out, and then I uh, still have a golem and I think a few golemites out in front tanking uh, for my queen, so she'll get an air sweep or two. And then I'll go ahead and tap the ability and focus on my air portion of the attack. Just two lava hounds because those air defenses are pretty easy to get to. And then uh, those three haste there to propel my balloons on in. Bunched up my balloons a little bit, so you can see I don't have any really for the backside. And um, but anyway, dropping a rage here. They're gonna make their way and take out the expo. I uh, still had a golemite up tanking. Not sure how it lived that long, but it was tanking. See some Teslas pop in this area, but they're locked onto that last lava hound. It'll bust in just a moment uh, with that air trap right there. Or that takes out a balloon, but the lava hound busts and down with a few balloons left but they'll make their way around and unfortunately a wizard tower was the last thing that was left up and that can be dangerous because those balloons are typically low health and the splash damage can take out a huge group of balloons at the end of an attack 
but it worked out. I uh, had enough health in those balloons to take it out, and they'll make their way around and take out the rest of this base. Um, so, finally got a three star. It's been a long time, but I'm super happy to uh, be able to get one and show it to you guys because uh, I had a huge slump, but I'm now hopefully I'm out of it and get, can get some more three stars in the future. Uh, last attack, we want to take a look at J Rock. Um, skipped it. Yeah, it's down here. Yeah, that's it. Uh, J Rock on 32. And bringing just a nice Go Ho, uh, so a few witches as well. Um, but he's gonna. Pretty quick attack, too. Only about a minute and 40 seconds. Minute 45. So took out this base very quickly. Just two golems, some wall breakers to bust everything on in. Wizards, witches backing it up, creating the funnel. Uh, queen goes down, has the nice level 30 queen. In a level 25 king, uh, goes ahead and drops a rage that will help them get through the balloons, and then already starts those hogs in behind his kill squad. Um, kind of you know Asian wall type deployment. They're gonna make their way in, uh, coming in on both sides, taking out the point defense on the outside, dropping heals where needed. Um, loses a few of the spring traps. This guy had you know solid spring trap placement. I like that poison to take out the skeleton traps. Doesn't waste it on the dragon because it won't do much damage to that. So goes ahead and drops it on the low hit point skeletons, takes them out. Uh, giant bombs are triggered by the golem, which is nice. Has those hogs healed all the way up, and then uh, the queen still in the core doing work. Last few defenses about to go down. Just has one more group of them in the bottom left. Uh, giant bomb does go off and doesn't have any more heals, so he's gonna lose his hogs in just a moment. But still has that queen and a few golemites tanking for her. Uh, so they're gonna hogs are gonna grab the cannon. And then looks like they'll actually have just enough uh, juice to take out that archer tower and finish off the rest of the space. Has some wizards doing cleanup. We'll fast forward. Uh, nice attack to J Rock. That's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the war recap. Um, more to come from this clan and more coming from Three Star Union, so stay tuned. But hope you guys like the Town Hall 10 Three Stars as well as the Town Hall 9 Three Stars from this war recap. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Secatron out.